It's amazing. And I'm going to completely switch gears yes. to some not so monumental, but some great, what I think is great artwork. Mm -hmm. And recently I had the pleasure of meeting a not a very young gentleman. He's actually in his 70s. He's been painting a very long time. And he's very well known for his portrait work and his paintings of cowboys. And he was invited I by the organizer. Right? Oh, yeah, the Louis L'Amour. Right. Yeah. Louis L'Amour. All the Louis L'Amour fans. Right. And he was in see this. invited to Reno by the organizers of the Cinco de Mayo Marathon. And I got to meet him over at Sarah Arts where he was giving a portrait class. Well, I started quite young. I started in art school at eight years old. My mother used to take me on Saturday to the Art Institute in Chicago. And uh, from there, uh, she found a private teacher uh, when I was about 10 that I used to go to one night a week. And it was just, uh, it just bl blossomed from there that when I got into high school, I was able to uh, compete for scholarships, that's when they had 48 states. They had it, uh, six divisions of eight. And uh, I would win it every year er, and, uh, through Stanford University. And they would supply the money for the art school. And then I would go to the American Academy of Art. So every summer I would be in college. I would be like 13 years, of, I was 13 years old when I was in college. When I left school, I stopped taking classes. I just went on to be an illustrator, and uh, for 20 years I worked on about every major account in the country. And at 40 years old, I said, goodbye, crew world, I'm going to be a cowboy. And I did it so for the last 31 years, I've been a cowboy. I, even when I was an illustrator, I was doing paintings of cowboys. and. I've been doing cowboys since I've been like 10 years old. So, but the thing was, uh, I took a trip to Arizona back in, uh, let's see, that would be 40. I uh, can't remember the year, but I just add 40 on tonight, 1975. And uh, met with some galleries there and talked to them. And uh, they said, we'd love to represent you. And it was a gallery called Savage Galleries. He since has passed away many, many years ago. And uh, I shipped them a bunch of paintings and uh, got a check in the mail within about a month. And I, they said, keep painting, no more illustration. Then we moved out to Arizona, to Scottsdale. I work with the working cowboy. I don't do the, uh, like some of the guys do the shoot 'em up type of paintings. I do the working cowboy that works with cattle, works with saddles. I do a lot of things with rodeo. In fact, uh, one of the people in the press in Scottsdale uh, called me the Rembrandt of the rodeo. And uh, how that came about is that uh, a couple of people from some of the galleries out in Europe came out and were looking. They said, this guy paints cowboys in a technique of Rembrandt. So some smart uh, reporter heard that and named me Rembrandt of the Rodeo. But I uh, did five rodeo paintings for the, the Parada del Sol. That uh, I did the centennial painting for Prescott and I did the 50th anniversary for Davy, Florida. And no one has ever done a hundredth and a fiftieth. Weekends I do other things. I paint from 8.30 the five every day. It, it, it's a job that I love. Well, it appears that Ken gets to spend his days doing two things he really loves, painting and hanging out with cowboys. There you go. Yeah, I can totally relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. He has the enthusiasm of a, of a kid. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. He's, he, he still gets excited about the cowboys and Indians. Please stay tuned to Rena Metropolis. We have another great wrap-up story for you. Next on Rena Metropolis, some high school students are using their art to turn their lives around. Reno 13, window to your city.